Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. When I first read this collect, my reaction was something like, what? Who wrote this? We do have power in ourselves to help ourselves. It sounded to me like the collect was saying that humans were mere parasites, unable to fight or fend for themselves, who depend upon God as an omnipotent host. I reacted to the collect violently, thinking of it as a contradiction of the Lenten spirit. Lent, for me, is the time when I take back hold of myself after the wild, excessive, and impulsive winter time. That time of candy cane brain, which begins with Halloween, peaks at Christmas, and drags on and on till Ash Wednesday, when we collect ourselves and say, enough. The season of Lent is about self-control, and yet here in its midst is a statement of our inability to control, regulate, or even defend ourselves. When the tumult had diminished, I reopened the book. When I read it for the second time, I saw it in a new light. My secondary reception was of a symbiosis between God and his children. I saw all mankind, or specifically the church, as a sort of stronghold or a sort of temple for God's dwelling in the land of the living. In us, his inner sanctum, he rests. From us, he wanders. Back unto us, he returns. In our favor, he, def he will defend his household in all adversity and maintain it in peace. I do not know whether there are any symbiotic relationships in nature to mirror the one which exists between us and our Father, who lives within us. Whether we are like sea anemones or clownfish or bees and flowers or what, but I know that when we live in God and God lives in us, in accordance with this collect, the gladness and well-being of his children bring joy to the Father, just as the strength and surety of the Father benefits the children. That is how I read this collect now.